Okay, so this um, very section, I want to focus on the Notepad. Notepad um, is one of the IDEs that we have out there that costs next to nothing. All you have to do is go to the URL. This is the URL, and uh, you go there and enter this download section. The download section is just by the left pane. Okay. So here we have the 32 bits, as you can see on the screen. And then if you scroll down, you're going to see the 64 bits. I'll recommend the 64 bits. Just make sure you check your operating system, especially if you're on Windows. Ensure that you have the right bits to download. Okay. So if you download, it's a very lightweight. Uh, compiler IDE you know, and it's open source so you, you just click on download and then you simply download to your computer for use okay so let's try now to connect notepad to ZAMP you already know what ZAMP is and I believe um, you've already set that up on your computer so we don't need to go over that again all we have to do now is to install the notepad plus plus okay so this is the selection the english uh, you can select the language that uh, you best understand so you click ok this is the welcome screen you agree to the terms and then the location in case you want to uh, locate elsewhere you can just redirect but for the purposes of this tutorial we're just leaving it on the default uh, directory so these are the other options that comes along with the uh, notepad factory um, before you can also check this localization if you wish to have that as part of your plugins okay so let's just click next and then now it creates a, a desktop on it or shortcut yes of course uh, now, for this one, it says you should not use the app data. Enable this option to make global write confirmation files to install in the directory. Check if Notepad is in a USB device. You don't need to check this, just leave it like this as it is, and you click on install. Okay, so let's run the Notepad and uh, see how the software is. Now, this is the interface. This is just the says Notepad. Version 771 enhancements and bug fixes. Okay, now you have here the file, and then you have the edit and uh, the other options which you can get used to, you know, at your convenience. Now there are shortcuts here that you can use to create new document. Okay, you can open the existing document and you can save the current document. Now let's click on the new document. Uh, you can just as well. Give a simple, a very simple uh, PHP code here, just like we've had uh, from the introduction. Let's just try and uh, type in a code here and save to run on the browser. Okay, so let's try this. This is a code. Yeah, a code. to notepad plus plus okay if we ended that there with the semicolon then of course let's also echo our usual php uh, info function php info the info function okay so that's just about that now once you're done ensure you save and when you're saving you can't just save anywhere you, you need to locate where the zap is installed yes and the ht docs yeah we already have first here so we can put this all we can just save it directly give it a name on the system let's call this notepad note Pad plus okay dot php okay this 
must be dot ensure there is no typographical error so we save in that location now we have to ensure that ZAMP is running okay yeah we've now started ZAMP at the highly privileged mode now if you, if you look at the script you see it's highlighted in PHP the color um, the color code the helpful color code helps to um, you know give you lines and give you the boundaries of the code that you're writing and this is very very helpful in writing uh, PHP now let's start our server our Apache and then of course uh, correspondingly we have to start it my SQL as well okay so with that done now take note of the name it says notepad plus PHP so let's go to the browser and try to run that from the local host see local host forward slash notes pad plus dot php okay you see that now so we have the script running and we've achieved it by just downloading a simple very flexible lightweight compiler so go ahead and try out something and if you have questions, you can leave a comment below or you can get in touch with me through the mobile app of Hands-On Lab Software Academy.